Thank you, Jesus. Good morning to family. Good morning to brethren. Welcome to Saturday prophetic service. Every Saturday morning. My name is Apostle Father Emmanuel Okai. Join the life and share it. Holy Spirit, have your way. Arishi Kabra Laza Kadadaba. Liza Kadadaba Zikadadaba. Holy Spirit. Liza Kadadaba Zikadaba Rekabru Lusu Kudubu. Thank you, Jesus. Liza Kadadaba Lusu Kudubu. Liza Kadadaba Lihabra. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. You are my eyes when I cannot see. You are my mouth when I cannot speak. You are my everything, my everything, my everything. You deserve. I very be thank you. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you are my mouth when I cannot speak. You are my everything, my everything, my everything. You deserve I very be thank you. Mm. A very big thank you. You are you are. A very big thank you. This is you deserve. A very big thank you. Hey, you deserve. A very big thank you. You deserve. A very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you. Hey, you deserve a very big thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You be Sancho. Your and hope. Mm. Join the life and share it. Ah, Rishi Kabra Lisi Kadaraba. Holy Spirit, have your way. Transgiving. I will be a Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit. When I cannot see, thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Saturday prophetic service. Join the life, and this morning say, I refuse to be down. Say, I refuse to be down. Join the life and share it. Invite friends and family. Be a blessing to someone. Be a blessing to someone. Be a blessing to someone. I refuse to stay down. Say, I refuse to stay down. I refuse to stay down. This morning, we refuse to stay down. Lisa Cabra, Lisa Daraba. Lehabro, Lo Shokorobo, Lehabra. A very big thank you. You just you deserve. A very big thank you. 
deserve a very big thank you. Join the live, join the live. <laughs> join the live. Good morning, good morning to family. Good morning to family, good morning to friends, good morning to loved ones. Please join the live and share it. Prophetic, prophetic, prophetic service. Prophetic, prophetic. Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy upon your life? Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, move, 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 move. Holy Spirit, move, move. Let us know the mind of God in the life of your people. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Rishi Kadaraba Zi Kadaraba Lisa Kadaraba Le Kadaba have your way have your way Father have your way Holy Spirit have your way Speak in the life of your people speak in the life of your people Lisa Kabra Lisa Kadaba Have your way have your way have your way Say I refuse to stay down This morning we refuse to stay down We refuse to stay down for sickness Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way. Le kabra la shakaraba. Le sai kadaraba zukodobo ri kabra. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Jehovah, you deserve a very big thank you. You deserve a very big thank you. Ah, you deserve. He deserves a very big thank you, believers. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This morning we are here to refuse to stay down. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray upon your soul. Any sickness that is, I mean, clinging you on the floor, we refuse to stay down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any disgrace, any shame, any circumstances, any disappointment, any promise and fail, any sin, any power of the enemy that is trying to put us down, we refuse to stay down. Say, I refuse to stay down. I want to say in the comment section, I refuse to stay down. Maya, you refuse to stay down. Henrita, you refuse to stay down. Prophet Shelley, we refuse to stay down. Felicia Robinson, you refuse to stay down. Um, uh, Yolanda, you refuse to stay down. Apostles, Bishop, we refuse to stay down by the power of the enemy that is trying to put us down. We refuse, we refuse. Say, I refuse to stay down. I refuse to stay down. Believers, Rishi Kabra La Karaba. Prophetic service. Are we together? Believers, listen. Life is full of this moment. It's full of knocks you own and your backside moment. Are we together? Moment that you did something to fall down or something completely out of your control made you fall down. Moment that takes the breath out of your lungs moment where you don't know if you can or you want to get back up get back up there are moments where our faith is tested are you getting the message you see the problem from for, for so many of us is we are looking backward in our relationship with Jesus instead of looking forward, instead of forward. We tend to focus on the stuff that tripped us up and knocked us down. We focus on what we did that caused us to lose hope and feel abandoned. But the Bible says that in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35 says that cast not away thereof your confidence 
which that greatest recompense of reward. Beloved, no matter what you are passing through, God will show up for you. It doesn't matter what the enemy brings your way. Know that it is not your end. So, you are not staying down. We refuse to stay down in poverty. We refuse to stay down in divorce. We refuse to stay down in disgrace. We refuse to stay down on the sick bed. We refuse to stay down if you will fall. Because the Bible says that the righteous shall fall seven times. And the enemy shall be put to mischief. Believer, I've come to prophesy upon your life that whatever is putting you down, say, I refuse it. I refuse it. I refuse it. Also, I want to encourage you this morning that you have to refuse to give up stand on your ground until you see the salvation of the Lord which he has promised you many times when we are faced with challenges or roadblocks that the enemy brings on our way we are tempted to throw up our hands and say it is not working. We are tempted quickly to throw down the towel. Say, I refuse to throw down the towel. I refuse to give up. I refuse to stay down. Prophetically, God is telling you that a time is coming. The visions and the dreams and the promises shall come to pass. And you see the power, the epicizal power, the promises of God. A lot of people has failed totally in their marriages. They have failed totally in their ministry. They have failed totally in their career. They have failed totally in their education and they are down today they think that is the end of the journey they think that is the end of the road but i have come to tell you as a child of god from a man of god with apostolic oil with apostolic mantle say that i refuse i refuse i refuse to stay down Believer, I don't know where you fall. I don't know where you fall. But I've come to tell you that. However, the fact that you are limited as a man doesn't mean that God is also limited. The God you serve never comes late. The God you serve never comes late. When he appears on the scene, it is to throw his weight around your sake. Therefore, never think for once that the enemy has won the battle over your life. The strategy of the enemy is to continue suggest to you that God has abandoned you or that you will end the way you are now so that you can slow down your commitment to God. The plan of God for your life is that you will rule, you will reign, you will remain as at, at the cutting edge. You will remain as at, at the cutting edge. You, you will sit at the tables of kings and queens. You will shake hands with great men. You will shake hands with great women. You will eat with queens. You will eat with kings. You will sit down with prince and princess. You will not sit down in, in the chamber of what? Of, of poor people. Whereby the enemy 
being taught that that is the end of your life. I remember the story of Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth's grandfather was a king. His father also has to be the next king. But the end of the life of the grandfather and grand grandmother, Mephibosheth lived in the land of Lodiba with his nest when the breaking news came about the death of his great his grandfather and his father that they have died the bible says that he became crippled at a particular age of four years or five years which took him and the nest that was taking care of him led Mephibosheth to live in a ghetto to live under a bridge to live on the street to live at a place called Lodiba a place whereby people cannot live there but when it is time God remembered Mephibosheth using King David so the Bible says that in 2nd Samuel chapter 9 verse 1 David says to Zoe and to Ziliba and said is there anyone in the house of King Saul that I may show him kindness for the sake of Jonathan for the sake of the resurrection and the power through our Lord Jesus Christ and the salvation from our Lord Jesus Christ. We refuse to stay down. We refuse to stay down. So God used King David for Mephibosheth not to stay in Lodiban. It is happening to you. Mephibosheth sat with kings and queens. Mephibosheth sat with kings, eating at the table of kings. And listen, no wonder David says in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It makes me to lie down in green passes. It leads me beside the sea waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Eh? I will fear no evil. We fear no evil. We fear no power of the enemy. We fear no strategy of the enemy. I prophesy upon your life. You refuse to stay down. You refuse to stay down. Don't accept it that you will stay down wherever you are. Am I talking to someone this morning? I don't know what is going through your mind when you wake up from bed. I believe that some of you had a nightmare and at the end of the day when you wake up you were crying you were mourning you were weeping last week I says that your tears and your wonders are in the bottle of of, of the Lord and the Lord is keeping it for you God will remember you say that I refuse to stay down am I talking to someone have you given up your ministry so quickly? Have you given up your marriage so quickly? Because you enter into first marriage, it didn't work. Second marriage, it didn't work. Third one didn't work. Another man is coming into your life. You reject him because of what you went through in the past. I am, I, 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 I have come to tell you that I am sorry. I am sorry for you, for you saying that. Never say that I am tired when God promises you. The promises of God does not know whatever it is called, I am tired. You need to open up yourself. You need to open up your heart. You need to open up your mind. You need to open up your lungs so that the breath of life from God, from Elohim, Elroy, God who sees everything in the days of Hagar and Ishmael will seize your problem and it will bring you up. He will bring it up so far as if Agar was able living in the wilderness with the son and the Lord says that because of the weep of the cry of your son look I've heard your voice I've seen what is going through your life and the Bible said there was a spring of water that came from the dry place that came from the wilderness where a place water cannot pass God is making a way in your wilderness God is making a way a way a way a way I mean a way is putting streams and rivers through your wilderness and your rivers contains gold bronze onces in your life Saturday prophetic I declare upon your life listen you better shut up and tell God I refuse to stay down I refuse to stay down listen sometimes 
Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 says that casting down imaginations, then every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience. Child of God, you must not cast down every thought and imaginations of poverty. Are we together? Child of God, you must not cast down every thought of imaginations of frustration. Child of God, you must not cast down every thought and imaginations of discouragement and hopelessness in every area of your life. Listen, can I shock you? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We accept the fact that we are all falling, but we refuse to stay down. We have accepted the fact, right? Do you agree with me that you and I, we, are, we have accepted the fact that we have fallen, but we refuse to stay down? Listen, in Luke chapter 22, 16, but Peter said, man, I do not know what you are saying. Immediately, while he was speaking, the rooster crowed. And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord. You understand how he has said to him, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So Peter went and wept bitterly. The Bible says that in Matthew chapter 27 verse 5, Then he threw down the pieces of the silver in the temple, departed and went and hung himself. Do you know that every one of the disciples of Jesus fell down? Do you know that? Jesus told them, on the night he shared the last supper with them. In Matthew chapter 20, verse 31, this is this very night with, 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 with you all will fall away on account of me. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Let me tell you, you are not the only person that you are falling. Peter fought. Judas fell. I mean, all oh, Thomas the Didymus. You see, they all mess up. But our scripture today is telling us that, listen, for whatever that we are thinking of, eh, we should let our imaginations cast out that negative thing in our life. The issue is not that you fall or how hard you fall, but you get back up. Peter, Judas, Peter repented. Judas simply regretted. Judas was around Jesus, but never with Jesus. Are we together? John chapter 6, verse 70 to 71. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you? The twelve and one of you is a devil. He spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for it was he who would betray him, being one of the twelve. Let, let me tell you, it wasn't how Judas died that condemned him, but that he never knew Jesus. The issue is not that you come to church, but you come to Jesus. Can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? We all fall from time to time. We all fall from time to time. But sadly, there are many today who never get back again. Who never get up again. Who never wake up again. They are still lying down. They are still, I mean, sleeping. They are still on the floor. So, they remember how it used to be. They remember how they used to go to church. They remember how they used to live their life. But on the way, they fell and refused to get back up. Did you know that peer pressure or lack of desire is not what keeps most, I mean, from surrounding to or serving God? One of, one of the biggest tricks 
of Satan is to use you to keep you from starting or maintaining a relationship with Jesus. It's nothing more than guilt. He will use guilt. He will use guilt. It, it, it was guilt that took Judas to the hanging tree. If you look backward and walk forward, what do you think might happen? The problem for so many of us is we are looking backward in our relationship with Jesus instead of forward. We tend to focus on the stuff that tripped us up and knock us down. We focus on what we did that caused us to lose hope and to feel abandoned. Many will bring a filled relationship from the past with them when they come to Jesus. They bring the, that father, that, that father, that mother, you, you, you never please, that abandon you. Believer, I have come to tell you that refuse to stay down. You may have fallen, but I have a good news for you today. You can get up and you can move forward. Don't let Satan keep you from surrounding to or living for Christ because he keeps bringing you your past. The past can't be changed. Remember that God cares more about where you are going than where you have been. Can I repeat myself? The past can't be changed. Remember that God cares more about where you are going than where you have been. The present is now and your future is tomorrow. Listen, just come to Jesus. Admit that you have messed up. You have sinned against him. Would you like to know what he will say? I know I was watching. Then he will reach out his hand of love, his hand of mercy, his hand of grace, and say, now let's get you up from there because you have got stuff to do. You are not a failure because you fall. A failure is the one who refused to get back up. God loves you just like you are. But he loves you too much to leave you like you are. This morning, I want to show you that Jesus will do it for you. Say, I refuse to stay. If Jesus Christ refused to stay in the tomb, if Jesus Christ refused to stay in the tomb, as the angel of the Lord asks um, the woman, woman, listen, why have you come here? Looking for the dead and for the living among the dead. Believers, why do you look for the living from among the dead? Why are you looking for your blessings among the past? Why are you looking for, 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 the, for, the, for the past? People are still searching for the past and they gain nothing. People may think that your marriage is dead. People may think that your career is dead. But it is not among the dead. It is among the living. Why do you look for the living from among the dead? Listen, people will start, people will make a list of divorced women and divorced men. And they'll be writing the list of divorced people in your community. And they will not see you. Tomorrow by this time, you meet a man that you make you smile. People will be looking for and um, will be writing a list of, of, of men and women who are not working, who are jobless. And when they, when, when they start writing their names, they will not find you in. Because God is opening doors for a new job upon your life. May you receive that grace. May you receive that grace. May you receive that grace. Your enemy will take pen and paper and writing the sick people. Those who are sick with cancer, 
hypertension B, those who are sick in the lungs, in, 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 in the body, in the colon of intestine, and the enemy will not get you. I prophesy upon your life this day, now and forevermore. Go and refuse to stay down. God bless you. God keep you. My name is Apostle Father Emmanuel. You are blessed this Saturday. Amen. Thank you for joining the Facebook Live. If you want to support the ministry, you can sow a seed. If you want to give offering, you can take the cash app, have the cash app on the, this video description. And sow a seed, support, and give donation. See you on Monday. Peace. Shalom. Love you all. Mm.